What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? We are back with some Plague Tale Requiem. This rat-infested dumpster fire of a game. I'm still trying to... What, what is the driving force in this game? Like, the, in the first one... I, I, I keep complimenting the first game. The first game was so tight. It was so well done. The characters were great. In this one... The characters are bland. I don't understand what the hell we're doing. I mean, I, I, let me rephrase. I understand. We're trying to get Hugo to hit this magic water that's going to heal him of the macula. Fine. Cool. Awesome. But there are no stakes. Like nothing happened. We're good. Especially you. You're the sneakiest child I've ever met. I mean, hell, the last video, I swear, it was like making the Count and the other lady seem like crazy cultists. All right. Which kind of were, but weren't violent. You know, it wasn't like they were out there looking for sacrifices. Oh, this feels so nice. I got a new controller. So, that was... I don't even know what that was. Me neither. But we have a lead. Pragmatic. I like that. Why not check that map again? Unless you know where that tower is? Huh. Why not? That was quite something. But I what still map? can't believe you went to a convent. My mother came from a wealthy family. They weren't exactly pleased when they found out my father was a smuggler. So off to a convent I went to cleanse me of his sins. It wasn't very effective, it seems. I'd rather be a sinner and be free. So, I escaped, I joined my father, and... We must be careful. If my dream is wrong, more things can be wrong. Hey, look around you. It's fine. We're centuries later, right? She's right. We're with you. Well, and plus your dream wasn't necessarily wrong. It was incomplete. And mix that with the fact that there was nothing awful happening in your dream. I mean, really, all we're doing... Like, the race against the clock in this? I'm not saying you always need a clock. You always need to have some sort of driving force. You know, I'm, I'm not J.J. Abrams, you know, with his mystery box shit. But you, you always have to feel like you're doing something. Like, with this, with our characters here, I'm just like, well, I feel like we spend so much time just... Not doing anything. Like, and frankly, I, I also don't feel an urgency or a rush to do anything. Seeing the fact that Hugo's not, like, he's not going to die tomorrow. Yes, I know we need to stop the rat plague and everything, but it's... I, I, I It's weird. It, it's like, they go from acting like we need to do this now, 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 now to all this frivolity when we, like, when we got to this island, ooh, we're gonna stay with stay with these rich people, we're gonna tour the island, it just hey, if you don't it's to odd me, don't forget about that map yes, what? Thanks. map? I would very much like to know what map and how to you know, view it. Yeah, there was the screeching at... And I know I just jumped right back into this game and I'm already starting to bitch about it. But it really frustrates me, man. 2022 has been the year of just a lot of disappointing titles. Just a lot of games. Uh, and, I'm, and I'm sitting here thinking, I'm like, man, what was I so excited for this year? I mean, I know I was excited for the new Harry Potter, but that got pushed. 2023. God of War is about, about the only thing that was supposed to come out this year, that did come out this year, that I absolutely love. But I'm trying to think of all... Because I know there were other games that I was super excited for, but maybe I... But I've kind of forgotten about them. 
Because really, there's not been a standout game until God of War this year, man. It's... I'm, I'm just, I'm disappointed. And like I said, I know I'm, I'm probably coming across as salty, and I, it's because I kind of am. And what's up here? Is up here the, the villa or whatever that we came from? Is this the fort we're supposed to fort we're supposed to go to? No. I think this is where we yeah, this is where we exited the last chapter from. Yeah, this is the house we stayed at. This is where we started following the 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 the, Phoenix, the Phoenixes? Phoenix I Insert plural for Phoenix. Is where we started chasing those bastards. Okay. Now I'm just pressing buttons to see if I can get a get this map that we supposedly have to come up. Out of my way. Huh, it's quiet. I think they're all at this feast. We should go there too, then. It's too quiet. We'll go back. I think this is our path anyway. Yes. Okay. And all the like ah, there we go. Let's pass through here. It'll be nice. We still look happy. I was about to say, are we about to go towards the Midsummer Festival? Be the days when he'll come back. Also reminds me of uh, something from The Wicker Man. All we need to do is do our best Nicolas Cage impersonations and start screaming about the bees. The singing sounds like there's a lot more people. Climb fast. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. what that accomplished. Open the door. Mind the drop. <laughs> oh, okay, she took the ladder. I was like, is she just gonna teleport down there? Is she gonna jump? How's uh I don't think I've ever seen one of our companions just hop down.
You know, because I have been pretty harsh on this game so far. I I will give it this. I, I do like how... So let me read. Yeah, I'm going to hold off until I get more parts. And there's some other upgrades I like than more alchemical ingredients. Uh, but yeah, as, as I was saying, you know, there are, there are some things that I have been liking. Well, a piece of it, at least. Everything is so old here. How can there be anything that helps? There will be. The past never dies, Hugo. It is merely forgotten. They your dream, didn't they? And that sanctuary still had a lot to tell. Mm. We'll find something in that chapel. Um, and, and that is that there's always like a third party with our group. There was our known. There's this chick. There was the big headed guy or the big headed kid earlier on in the game, Lucas. I, I like that there's a third party. A because again, I. Conquer that tower for me. I have been bitching about this all game. I find Amicia just absolutely obnoxious in this game. Stay in sight. Yes. Thanks. It's a bit hard for him. I I wanted to ask you. Are you sure about all this? It seems like a heavy burden for him. I know. And it is. That's why we're doing this. Listen, we may not know each other well, but you're chasing ghosts. Ghosts that scare him. We've gone through hell, Sophia. You can't imagine. I can't. The I mean, is, does he need he, more? whatever. I have nothing else. I believe you. Fine. You're so slow. Yeah, because it was going to change Amicia's mind. Yeah, she's she seemed very agreeable and willing to take criticism. <sighs> Locked from the other side. Time to take a little look around. But yeah, it, it's just nice to have somebody else that's. Just another character that is kind of balancing out Amicia's rage. And I'm captain of his guard. So you will rule this thing. But you can be my smuggler. A royal contract. I'm honored. Don't forget we still have a real fort to conquer. Ah, oh, right. The fort and its chapel. But yeah, I, I just... I, I like the use of the... Uh, the third party just from a narrative perspective but i also like it from a gameplay perspective it just adds some new chunks to puzzles you know new chunks to stealth you know with <clears throat> with lucas arno and now um oh my god they keep saying her name and i but i just keep wanting to call her samantha i don't know why and i know that's not her name I want to call her Isabella. And that was the name of the pirate lady from <laughs> Dragon Age 2. She was my favorite. Um, either way, sorry, I keep I'm getting distracted. I was thinking of breasts. Uh, but no, they they all have their own unique uh, advantages in combat and stealth. You know, Arno could be used to send a fight against soldiers. Uh, she can use her prism to create fires and distract. Lucas had his uh, stupefacio. stupefacio. Yes. Sounds like a Harry Potter spell. it is. Let's hope this fort isn't as crowded as their sanctuary. It surely doesn't sound as appealing. I don't think the Count and Countess dug into the Order's writings. They must have considered the place too sacred. There is only one way to find out. Yes. Let's move.
What's going on? There's a storm coming. How can you tell? Trust me. He's sad. All this because of a dream. When's the last time a dream meant everything to you? The day I stopped being a child. Hey, that's a pretty flower. You want it? Of course. I mean, are you... Is she pitching? When I was the one getting the flower. Time passes, sweetheart. They grow up. Is she pitching to make Hugo grow up and stop chasing a dream? Quick. You know, the whole... Uh, like, are they trying to make we some sort of... stay here. I like it here. Staying here won't help you, Hugo. We must move. Plus, there's a storm coming. I, I hate her hairstyle. Again, compared to the first game, I, it just looked like it was all pulled up into the braid. Again, it's the shaved head on the side. It just it looks off to me. Flowers, feathers. Looks super modern and just I don't like it. Because they make you fly. I get it. Well, don't fly away right now, please. You know, I I hate the the super short buzz cut mixed with the long swooped over hair just uh it's a modern haircut and hairstyle that i hate to cross. let's see down there yeah uh, but as it was yeah, i was getting distracted here that bridge looks about to collapse let's see if we can finish it yeah i, w I was getting There's just a grapple on this pole Okay. Maybe with my crossbow? Oh, alright. Yes! Is it going to work? Hopefully. Well, yeah, it, it was almost like they're trying to use Isabella to push a... Golden staircase up. Will it hold? You can't stay a child forever, but then she immediately goes back to patronizing him and treating him like a child. And oh, this dream, like, it, it's, it's almost like it's not good for him to dream, but then just going along with Amicia, I... I don't know if there's a theme or something they're pushing. No, not until I've repaid my debt to your sister. What? She didn't tell you. She saved my life. Oh, well... I'm glad she did. Well, me too. I think I think it was face uh, face for skull. I was talking to in the last video. I I was just making a very very old this this point that I I feel like they're trying to use PTSD and all this, you know, some survive all the stuff that Amicia was went through in the first game. Cradled by the waves. Two. Then they become crab food. Ew! <laughs> Thank you, Sophia. Anytime. Sophia, I keep... I gotta remember that. Sophia. My dumbass. Let's take, keep calling her other things. Ooh, that's actually really good. Yeah, I think I'm gonna make... I'm gonna make the unbreakable tool. That's going to be my focus. Um, what was I about to talk about? All right, Namisi's character. I, I feel like the developers are also trying to use mental illness or... <sighs> mental illness or PTSD or whatever. Because I've kind of touched upon this uh, at certain points of the playthrough. Which, at first, I, I, I kind of understood it. But I feel like they're trying to use it to explain away her... It looks like the mo like that moment where she went all rage monster and killed all the soldiers, or just some of her abrasive attitude. It just there's blood. I'm I'm sitting here going, I, I don't think. What? He's chained up. We have to go back. Gross. We need to get to that chapel, Amicia. We've got a dead man here. So? We need to be. 
Let's go. There's a dead man here. And? I, I just... Whatever. I, I, one of the rare times I'm kind of on Amicia's side. I mean, that's a sign to be careful, not a sign to turn back necessarily when we're trying to stop the rat plague. Ooh! That would hurt. Quiet. What the hell? He's right above us. Damn bastard, make me switch. Who is it? Don't look. Stay low. There's more. Pirates. Pirates, slavers, whatever the hell you want to call them. I got that one. The others ran away. Shit. Keep watch in case they come back to try and free the rest. I'll take this one back. Understood. The others. Let me go, pig! Oh, I will. Soon. I want quiet. Kill any trespassers. Damn it. Who are they? I'd say. The slavers, by the looks of it. The slavers? They capture people and sell them like animals. Really? But that won't stop us. Um... I think. Yeah, it's about to. Oh! Kick him into the fire. Oh, gross. I feel like that headbutt would really mess you up. You seem he had a freaking helmet on, but alright. Alright, I feel like that should have alerted more people. Like, maybe we could have had a really cool section where it's her alone trying to uh, get back to Hugo. I. What's gotta be the hell? so worried you said these are slavers who have like no regard for human life like they sell humans like cattle so why are those, oh you're killing human beings jesus christ make up your mind i hate that morally ambiguous bullshit it was in an episode um, for the new God of War game I was playing, it went up yesterday, or yesterday compared to when this video came out, that Atreus asks Kratos, you know, is it wrong? Or did, did he, he might have actually said, is it immoral to kill someone who's trying to kill you? And Kratos obviously says, no. And I agree with them. I think it's immoral. I said, these guys will kill you, given the chance. So, I, you know, and you know, these aren't even, like, the guards that we've run into. These guys aren't, you know, oh, just soldiers doing their job. These are, uh, you know, these are slavers. I mean, I, I really do not have a moral quandary about this. Uh, you know, I, I didn't finish my, my whole thought on the thing about... Um, it's broken. We'll find another way. 
the whole thing about Amicia and uh, how I feel like the developers are using like PTSD and mental illness to kind of excuse away her bouts of rage, which... Which I'm not saying don't ever happen, don't, you know, that's not how, you know, mental illness and how PTSD works. Because, I look, man, as a man who's deals with mental illness in his own way, there are tons of different ways that things, you know, tons of different ways that you, uh, you see mental illness, tons of different ways that it presents, yada, 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 general disclaimer. But I generally don't think it just makes you have bouts of violence like it was with Amicia. I just... I mean, I've heard that, you know... So you're saying murderers and whatever, but then you're also acting like oh, you killed them. Uh-huh. And they barricaded the temple door. There should be a way to open it. Yes, leave it. Hmm. I think we gotta move up. Cause we gotta pull the uh That's gotta be. Oh fuck, fuck, fuck. No eat me. Gross. Who got burned to death? I mean it, you know, something that I you know I was kinda talking about earlier. How, you know, I, I don't think PTSD necessarily just makes you violent. I mean, I, I've heard, I think I was about to say, you know, like I've seen stories and stuff of somebody with PTSD who... How many are there? Could be a lot. Milo's a big fish. Um, you know, is somebody... Yes, I, I, I understand that. I think that was all of them. As I was about to say, you know, like people who kind of were have a have a um, ah, what's it called, like a traumatic episode or a, or a recurring. It's kind of like sleepwalking. Like they think they're somewhere else, that sort of deal, and they. Uh, you know, where they have, a, like, you know, a, like a soldier sees himself back in war. And he'll end up killing somebody or hurting somebody in accident. But it's not just a generally makes you violent sort of thing. It's not that simple. You know, I... I think, for now. And I think that's my frustration. It's not that... That door looks like it's been stuck for a long time. Then we'll have to unstick it. It's not necessarily that Amicia couldn't have bouts of rage or aggression or whatever. I just don't think that they laid the groundwork for it. They had her have a few moments, have a few. So we've got a rope here. Times where she seems to. So 
Sophia, can you take care of it? Consider it done. Oh, it's a chandelier, I think. It looks but yeah, heavy. It, she has moments <laughs> where oh, I'm pulling. Go on. It, you could see her having a moment of, you know, maybe like a flashback or something, or we should move. Agreed. Something going on with her. But it, it's just kind of like, well, see, we we did the setup. Like, no, there's a... Why did you when you're dealing with something that's a sensitive topic like that, I feel like you need a little bit... You, you need to approach it with... We were supposed to be healed. What dreams don't give, we can take, Hugo. It's exhausting, but it's life. Well, uh, it's also my theory that, again, what the dream showed you was just incomplete. It didn't lie to you. It's a dream, kid. They need to be interpreted. All right. Let's so I keep getting I keep getting distracted off what I whatever the hell I'm talking about, and and you know and hell I'm not even I'm not usually one of those people who's all like things need to be handled with sensitivity and and you know we gotta hold hands and kumbaya and all that shit. I'm usually not. Let's try through here. It's such a nice place. It still can be. I don't know. And, and I'm not going to sit here and go, well, and, you know, and as somebody with mental illness, I'm offended. No, it's just... I think what frustrates me more than anything is it's like, well, we'll see, we're representing stuff. We're representing mental illness. We're doing this, that, the other thing. No, you're not. You're just, you're using it as a cheap ploy to tell a story. It managed to make people believe it's evil. So that people leave it alone. Huh. They're not darker than people. You should see me when I wake up. I'm the evilest. <laughs> up. Climb up. You know, I, I'll still say one of my favorite games that depicts mental illness was Senua's Sacrifice. Uh, Hellblade was so good at depicting... Uh, I believe it was schizophrenia. Is what the... It's what people believe that... Um, that uh, Senua had in that game. So well done. It's all right. It will be over soon. What the hell this shit? You got a problem, Diaz? Well, these things come out of the ground to eat us. Our slaves escape. And now what? You're wasting what remains for that mad countess? Wrong! We're not working for her anymore. It's all in a fresco. The rats announce the coming of the child. And you see how hungry they are. So it's simple. We please them. We please the child. We buy ourselves a seat next to his throne. That is really a massive leap you're taking there. And the world will follow. So tell me, how many of us will feed the rats before we see your child? You have so little faith. But you keep backing up. I like this guy. Anyone else? Dude, the music in this game, I love it. Let's begin. The blood will show the child the way to the chapel. Dear Diaz here. Has the honor of starting it. Goddamn maniacs. We have to help them. Uh, we're a little past that kid. It's already too late. We'll stop them. You don't kill people just like that. Why? Okay. You do it all the time. Yeah, I was about to say. Quicker than you. Yeah. You don't attack people by yourself. You listen to me and do as I say. Is that clear? I don't care. They're all dead now anyway. You're also not his mom. What the hell. Oh yeah, she didn't rem she didn't know he's the rat king. You go listen. 
Yeah, maybe yelling at your kid brother who's a little, I don't want to say unstable, but he's going through some shit. You never said what? Oh, by the way, my brother controls rats and gets them to eat people. And yeah. And I, I didn't want you to. It was wrong. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. This place would give us a ch I'm sorry. I need I I I am getting everything that I that I can throw out of my hands. So I'm putting my headset my controller down. Oh my god, this hypocritical bitch. <laughs> was it two chapters ago? Yeah, it was two chat literally two chapters ago that I don't like Arno. He's a liar. Oh, sorry Sophia. I've been lying to you this whole time. My kid brother is the rat king. Holy Shit, I hate you, Amicia. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. Everybody in my house is asleep. Otherwise, I probably would have started screaming. Aunt, I thought you wouldn't have to see us like this. Just oh. go talk to him. I need some time. I understand. Hugo. You gonna apologize to him? And stop being such a hypocrite. But killing people, even bad people. You've done it. He's not wrong. And sometimes they force us to act. Yes. But just let me take that decision, please. All this. See, that's a much better way to be. Give me a second. It will stop once we find out how to heal you. Come here. I think we owe Sophia an apology. As I was about to say, that is a much cleaner and less hypocritical argument. It's the, oh, well, they're bad people. Well, do that doesn't mean we can just kill them. A after I literally went on a rampage in that last area, just taking out all the enemies from, you know, with my sling. Uh, sure. You're, it, it, it's more... It's not necessarily that you have a thing against killing them. It's the, you don't want your kid brother to stain his hands and further the spread of the macula by playing with the rats. I totally get that. Explain, express that. Don't just shout, well, killing them is wrong. Because then it just makes you look like an asshole. Sophia. I'm sorry. I am too. Yeah. Well, let's just walk. 